Hey guys, good evening. I'm on my way to a friendly neighbor's house and we're gonna do some work today. This Saturday we got a big event going on. So um, yeah, I guess we gotta, we gotta hurry up. Just arrived at the, well, it's a repair shop that we're here, but the combine is here and the owner's also here. Nicknamed Farmer X. <laughs> Already put these steel beams on and these steel beams are going to be the base for the rotisserie. So there's going to be a block mounted on this with probably um, a bearing and an electric motor. And then we can have the picks sitting in the middle of these two beams. Uh, still a lot of work to do. This is a little job for today. We're just checking some things, measuring some things. Farmer X Brian is going to be probably busy this this week with this job. I'm going to be focusing on the pigs. So tomorrow I got recording day, Wednesday coming up. Uh, we're here with Gertjan, and uh, if you're a friend of the show, you know who Gertjan is from the local butcher, Gertjan van de Horslagerij in Eerbeek. So check it out. Uh, we're here with these two beautiful fat pigs, and you were able to get these locally, right? Ja. Van de Tony Veldhuis. Tony Veldhuis. Boerderij Dijk 43. Kijk, klare week. Ja, heeft mooie so. varkentjes voor ons geselecteerd. Dus we uh, lopen ook vrij. Dus, so, uh, all locally sourced, um, free range pigs, um, nice fatty pigs, but not too fatty where you don't have that nice belly muscle fat ratio. So, uh, they're huge. <laughs> <laughs> Please note this for a little rotisserie action in the weekend, they're quite big. Official weight, 98 kilograms. So this little piggy, the smallest one is 98 kilograms. That's a lot of sandwiches. So we're measuring them out. They're about 165 from nose to tail. The total size of the machine is three meters. So that's going to be a problem. They're not going to fit on hole. We're going to take the head off. That's the plan. We're going to take the feet off. That's the plan. Then we're moving to the next step. So first, and, and I, he gave me the knife. He wants me to do all the work. Nice. <laughs> Practice. Good practice. Now we're getting to the point where we need to get this pig open and wide so it can fit on our rotisserie. So we got the head off, we got the back is already stretching open like this naturally, but you can see the ribs are holding the front tight together. The breastplate is tight together. We need to open it up. Now you can go in with a handsaw and cut the ribs, but if you got the tools, then why would you use a handsaw? because he thought I was gonna, he hoped I was gonna bring my home injection needle. Yeah. <laughs> and of course I skipped that part because that's not gonna work on this part apparently, but you're still laughing because it's a lot of work. Yeah, that's taking heel veel werk. I'm not too worried, I don't think it's a lot of work. We'll see, we're in the cooling right here. F 15 liters of ice water coming out of the, uh, the freezer. Yeah. And now we're gonna add chlorosalt. salt, yeah. and which is a, that has a little bit of nitrate in it, which helps with prolonging because we're going to make ham out of this uh, pig. It's going to be cooked to 65 degrees Celsius, which ham is naturally done. We're not going to go all the way to pulled pork. So with ham, you're adding chlorosol for longevity. You can use it, keep it in your fridge, slice it up, eat it whenever you want. And you got this brown stuff. It looks, it looks like syrup. So there's some sugars, herbs in here, flavorizers. That's the brine, ready to go. I'm going to inject it. You're going to take a coffee break. That looks like a good plan. Quick update on the... Uh, combine 
We are uh, at the moment uh, fixing uh, the rest of it. it. It's looking really good. The uh, rotisserie is on, it's operational, functional, and we decided the length we needed to put the bars in. So, um, and we have a beautiful addition right here. There's where the chickens are going to be. This is going to be magnificent. Last bit of preparation uh, at the show. Uh, we're ready to go. The machine is ready, the combine is ready, the rotisserie is on, we got wood there, we got the banners up, everything's ready to go. Butch is here checking things out. So this is gonna be good. This is gonna be a very, very eventful event. Now I just gotta wait, I gotta wait because it's tomorrow. So all my preparations are done. And tomorrow we're gonna start things up. But for now, tonight is party time. Good morning. Uh, uh, yeah, it was a it was a very nice evening. There was a uh, Mitchell's here. We're going to. Good morning. Morning. It's early. It's a, it's quite early, and the sun's quite bright. Yeah. So if I squinting my eyes, the, the first plan now is to get a cup of coffee, um, clean out the car, the trailer, and then uh, pick up the, the pigs. Go. That works. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning. <laughs> oh, kijk eens wat Is this enough? I think uh, it will be more than enough. Uh, we just arrived. Pixar here, we brought a wasp. Oh boy. <laughs> Pixar here, we're getting ready. We're going to put the pigs on that beautiful machine. Neighbors are here to help. So, um, yeah, we're good to go. So if you guys want to see how this is all going to happen and going to go down, make sure you watch next week because that's going to be the full video. That's when you're going to see the pics on this machine.